Miss Bateman, welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. You'll catch your death out here. Ah, Mr. Kemp. Welcome. My heart is his heart, your lordship. And my light is his light. We've a full house for today's sermon. You'd best take your seat. My heart is his heart, your lordship. And my light is his light, Mr. Long. You have made an Eden here, your lordship. We are ever so thankful to you. I assure you, Mr. Long, this is only the beginning. Please, join the others inside. My heart is his heart. And my light is his light, dear Leonard. How are you feeling? Fit as a fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> After you. And now I sit in this dismal room, day after day, year after year, imprisoned and committed with seemingly little hope of redemption. You have chosen not to visit me, and I understand that I do. Indeed, I've had but one visitor, Arthur Tillett. He comes to see me once or twice a year. A loyal and decent man who tried in vain to warn me of the wicked plot concocted by Lord Panswick and Mr. Shoulder. Thankfully, Midland Railway accepted his transfer request. He and his wife were able to leave that damnable village several weeks after my excavation. It feels like an age has passed since that fateful night at Ticehurst House, but finally, you have my full account. I thought I knew my father. As I look back on my childhood memories, I can only conclude that it was his wish to protect me from the true nature of his endeavours. But why didn't you tell me the truth, especially after what happened to him at Hobbsborough? Why did you allow me to grow up idolising a man who didn't exist? I did not kill father. It was he that guided my hand. I was in thrall to that most malevolent force. Abraxas. I beg you to understand. 
He has had his revenge, but I know he will return. Where is he now? What more is he capable of? I only wanted to save my father. Oh, mother, what have I done? Forgive me.